tonight we are going to be camping in this very terrifying and haunted forest. Hey. And built. Uh, what the? F that was a scream. Yes, 100%. It was a f scream. Hello? No, I know. I'm just checking this area. Oh, oh, sh oh f Ben. There was someone out there watching us, following us the entire night. There's someone here. I just encountered the most disturbing thing I've ever come across in my life. This doll was in this bag. This picture was with the doll. Look at this. Oh, ah, what the f the f so just hit the fucking car. Okay, okay. Tonight, we are gonna be camping in this very terrifying and haunted forest, allegedly. A subscriber sent in his story, his own personal experience from this place, and it is crazy. I wanna put a massive trigger warning when I do tell the story later because it's very disturbing. Now, he's from the town nearby, and he says that the locals, the people from the town, always warn people about this place. There's strange things going on here, allegedly. You know, they find strange items, you know, people go missing, cult oh. activity, and that's the kind of stuff that makes you not want to come in, right? Yeah. And his own personal experience, once I heard it, I was like, okay, no, that's crazy. But, you know, after sitting on it, we were like, let's go give it a shot. So here we are. Now, this is our campsite. I flattened out the area with the truck just to give us a little bit of flat land. And um, it's the power of a truck. <laughs> Ford Tough, baby. Hey. And built. Uh, what the f? That was a scream. Yes, 100%. It was a f scream. Hello? Oh, dude, I got fucking chills right now. It's not even because I'm cold as hell. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next camping video. Yeah, Peace. Bye, <laughs> hell no. At this point, we turned off the cameras and we were talking amongst each other whether or not we should just leave. Even though we just got here, even though we just set up the tent, we thought that this was a bad omen, you know, a bad foreshadow for the rest of the night. However, we decided to push on through. Despite the scream that we just heard coming from within the forest, uh, we stayed. And it was a very bad decision. Um, I'm going to try to push through this. Try to push through this. Uh, we knew that this was going to be a very interesting night, to say the least. Yeah. We're going to try our best <laughs> and try our best we shall. So with that being said, if you guys are excited for this video and you want to see more camping videos, smash that like button. Do it. Comment hashtag camping to show us that you want more videos like this and uh, we'll make it happen. And subscribe to the channel if you have not already. All right, let's go. You know what? I was going to say, let's get the rest of the equipment. Well, let's go check this out now. Okay. Because first thing I noticed is there's a trail down that way. And whatever we heard came from that way. Yeah. So... I think we go check that out first. Okay. Just to kind of be safe. Um, I'm going to leave the truck on and the lamp lantern's right there so we know how to get back no matter what. If we lose our lights, you're saying? <laughs> yeah, I guess. But, yeah, man. That's the thing. Like, local folklore stuff really is, you know, every town has them. Oh, every yeah. single town has that yeah. one scary story or place. And it appears that this is, this is it for this place. Now, obviously, someone came down here recently. The, these tracks are pretty fresh, but ooh, I think that's a deer, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. or something. But I just wonder, like nothing bad. Okay, we hear we hear the scream, or it sounds like a scream. Now, obviously, could be what fox, could be something. Yeah, like some animal. Yeah, it could be, but. I mean, the only thing we're seeing is these tracks. That could be fox prints for all we know. It could be. You heard that? Yeah. It was like a screeching sound. It was like a whistle, but not. It wasn't like a human whistle. No, it wasn't. It was like a. God, like a donkey or something. Almost like how. A... What the fuck? <laughs> the part where it does the knee and the knee haw. The only jackass here is you, bro. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, well, 
that's the thing is like this is gonna go on for god knows how long yeah i mean we could just take the, car, the truck if we wanted to on this road i feel like that is true i mean someone clearly did or where it came from maybe that trail leads to maybe there's oh, like a lap that leads somewhere yeah, maybe maybe we could go check that out later as well um yeah okay <laughs> yeah well, let's do that we're also gonna fire up some equipment spear boxes and stuff like that see if maybe you know potentially this place is haunted but i mean the stories about this place alone are fucking enough to send chills down your spine it's like kind of wanted to see if maybe we could get down to the bottom of things but they say cult activity you know you always when i hear cult activity ben i think of like People in black robes with candles and shit. You know, like, <laughs> summoning stuff. Like, what do you think when you're cult activity? I think of one or two things. Okay. Either some kid spray-painted a cult-looking thing on the ground somewhere. Oh, and people were like, oh, shit. Yeah, so he's like, oh, boy, I'm gonna... People are gonna see this, and they're gonna think, oh, they're yeah. gonna think there's a cult here. Yeah, yeah. Or, you know, it actually does happen sometimes. I'm sure there's some people that think they'll, like, no. sacrifice... <laughs> okay, no. That was from that way. That was from the direction. Yeah. What's the battery on the camera? 83. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Should I fire up this beer box now? I'm gonna do it. Let's keep it low just in case. Just in case, yeah. I so mean, like, here's I'm over here screaming hello and- I guess, yeah, we're really- Pushing our luck. It looks like uh, it goes down lower there. Yeah. I wonder if that's water. What is that in the tree right there? Looks like a... Ooh. Is there anybody a here with us? Or something? I'd like to communicate. Oh, I got deeper. I fell into a hole. You all right? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm back up. I get knocked oh, down. Oh shit, Ben. Oh. <sighs> But I, I think someone's just shooting around here. There's bullet holes in that. Oh, great. I mean, someone just could be shooting their guns. Yeah. You know, not to think worst case scenario, but... Well, good thing like, I'm wearing mostly all black. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And you're wearing the color of a deer. Kind of. Oh, the truck turned off. That's huh. I was wondering what the hell that was. I didn't hear that, but I heard your ears are good. Thank you. Hearing your truck shut off. Thank you. You have some good ones too. Thank you. They look nice. <laughs> Full of wax. Okay, this is a very interesting. It's a big ass rock. I wouldn't even say this is a trail. Damn, bro. What's up? Look at this rock. Dude, the pioneers used to ride these babies for miles. Yo. Oh, we should try to ride it. Maybe later. Well, yeah. That'll be on the second channel, guys. So. That's the second time we heard that same damn sound. It is so dead quiet, bro. Should I maybe like call out, see if something responds or? I'm not. I was I'm hoping not. it said semen, dude. I was really hoping. Semen? Anything. I don't know. But... I'd rather prefer. I, I'd rather have that than demon, bro. <laughs> no, fair enough. Um, okay. Well, I was gonna say maybe I should like call out, and if something is out here. You know, maybe acknowledge it, or we just let whatever's here no, like be known that we are here. You know? Yeah. Sure. Okay. We'll do it. Okay. <sighs> okay. Before I even said anything, did you I hear? That? It was like a something moved over there. Yeah. Like in the bush. Hello. That was something. Oh, something. Um, should we cautiously? Okay. That was something. Oh, shit. Careful. Uh huh. Oh, this is all water. Oh, great. Perfect. Oh, I'm sinking. Okay. 
I'm gonna be honest, guys. Like, not for nothing, but like just being out here and like middle of the night, all night, is insanity. <laughs> yeah. It's so like, crazy. please excuse me if we are jumpy and retaliate. Retaliate. Who's gonna what? We retaliate for what? Don't gotta do that. Retaliate for what? Now, we also got to make sure that we don't go too far from the... What's up? It's weird, right? It's a box shift. Fuck. There's something definitely here. The rack. Um, I think this might be a, a pallet. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it's a pallet. Okay, sorry. Checking out our surroundings. Look at the moon up there. Wow. That's crazy. That's bright. Is anybody out here? Here, do you want to ask any questions? Not sure. Um, yeah, I'll switch with you. Oh, okay. Thanks a little easier. Oh, got it. Yeah. Um, Demon retaliate. I don't know what the rack is, but uh, did someone retaliate against you? Or are you going to retaliate against us? What's going to retaliate for? We didn't do anything. I've been here 150 years. Oh. I've been here 150 years. Maybe being here is doing something. Okay. Um, do you have a name? Something that we could refer to you as? Should we go a little bit deeper? I feel like the deeper we go, maybe the more spookier it gets. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Touche. I'm gonna avoid like this. I'm stepping right in water. How? How? H O W? How what? Who? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um. This goes in deep, brother. And that's what's freaky, is because we heard whatever the hell we heard, those screams, whatever. Bro, there's nothing in sight. There's no trails either, like any tracks or anything. No, this is just like open wilderness, bro. Hello? I mean, you did say it earlier, like maybe it was an animal we heard or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think logically and not like worst case scenario every time. What is it? Emma. Emma? Yeah, I've been here 150 years. How Emma? Pretty insane that gave us a name. That's kind of crazy. All right, Emma. Um, my name is Yasko. I'm here with my friend. Ben, howdy. And uh, we're going to be here for the night. If you We're want to camping. come show, show yourself, or here's another pallet. Oh god, this is water. By the way. Huh. We're offloading something somewhere around here. That's weird, right? Very interesting. Or it's just like someone's throwing out old pallets deep in the middle of the woods. That too. That could be a very big possibility. Yeah, I'm interested in seeing how far this trail goes, but you know, truck's all the way back there now. I mean, hey, we're going to be here all night, right? We'll be all right. That's true. Okay. God, bro, I don't know how you're walking through this. What do you mean? It's like all water and mud and shit. Really? It was back there, at least. Oh, I don't know. My boots are made for walking. The road. The road? That's back that way. Do you want us to go back to the road? Hello? Please tell me you heard that. Yeah. Who's out here? What's out here? Emma, is that you? Uh, 
Um, you want me to go check? Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't go too close, though, you know? True. Okay. I'll just take a gander. Well, bro, I, I just can't live with myself if I hear shit like this. Screams and stuff, and then... Hello? Who using was that? Voice. It said using my voice. What? Using my voice. Oh dear God. Something's trying to lure me, maybe. I don't know. Well, I'm not I'll come back. Just straight up falling for it. I mean, you're going a little far, Jess. No, I know. I'm just checking this area. <laughs> Oh fuck! Good as yes. good as What the fuck? Oh, shit. Fuck. I know I'm gonna get criticized for a million different things. Why we split up? Why I ducked down? Why I told Ben to run? Why all this? Why all that? I, guys, fight or flight kicked in, and my initial instinct was just to hide, right? In that moment, I had no idea what was going on. I didn't know if I was on someone's property. I, I thought we weren't. I thought this was all open land unless we were given false information, which was another thing going through my head. But at that point, I just wanted to kind of like lay low and lay low I did. And we were split up for a bit. And while we were split up, I was kind of laying low underneath this like log thing. And I left my camera rolling and uh, actually got them on camera. We were split up for a very long time. A million things were going through our heads at this point. We couldn't even contact each other because Ben still had my phone. So I was just out here with my camera. Ben was back at the campsite and we both experienced some pretty intense stuff. Now I'm going to put a quick disclaimer because what you're about to witness is very disturbing footage. You're also going to see us both in a very scared state. So I apologize for the profanity. I apologize for freaking out but in this moment of time both of us just didn't really know how to handle the situation and uh both experienced some pretty crazy shit all right guys i'm back at the camp i try to call jazz and you hear that Anyway, I tried to call Jazz, and then I realized I have his phone. And unfortunately, I can't even get into it. I wanted to use like Spirit Talker or something, because I closed it. And now I don't know his password, so it's just a break to me. But yeah, I called and then it sounded like, it sounded like, what the hell is that?
It looks like there's something near the car. Near the truck. I can't tell because there's that blinking light. It almost looks like... I don't know. Okay, let's not count our eggs before the chickens hatch or whatever. Satellite over there? Is that jet? No. No, that's a reflection from that sign. I swear to God. That hurts. It looks like there's a light on in the car. That's the moon. What the hell is that? Chess. It's a truck. It's light. That's the trail we went down over there. I have no idea where he is. Okay. Um, I'm gonna whisper right now, guys. I'll whisper into the mic so you can hear me better. I'm only using my flashlight for now on low. I've kind of just been laying low for a bit. Um, people came by. Obviously, I freaked the fuck out with the gunshot sounds I was hearing. Initially, it wasn't, you know, too close, but they came this direction. I don't know if they saw our lights. Obviously, I was calling out hellos and everything. I don't have my phone. Uh, ben has my phone, so I can't really reach out to him. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm not going back towards the truck and everything yet. Is because, well, one, um, they went that direction. Not exactly like towards the truck. They were like starting to go that way and then they like veered off left and they just kept going and eventually the lights just disappeared. Now, Ben, hopefully he's just chilling in the tent or something. Hopefully he's good. Uh, knowing Ben, you know, he's handling things, he, you know. Listen, a lot of you guys are probably like, hey Jazz, why aren't you fucking approaching these people? You know, letting yourself be known. They have fucking guns. I don't. Two, Jazz, why don't you have a gun? I do. I can't bring it across state fucking borders. It's not that easy, guys. But America is very interesting with its laws, all right? It's one question I get asked all the time. I'm hearing all some crazy shit. I'm actually gonna head towards where they came from. Because if you guys remember, we started going down that trail initially because we heard things from that direction, like the main road. I think there's this like, trail thing, it might connect with the main road if I keep going this way. That's what I'm gonna try to do um, and hope for the best. So I'm gonna use my flashlight, just my flashlight for now, or maybe just my camera light. Something's moving out there. Okay, I'm freaking the fuck out. Okay, um, I'm gonna try to go towards the direction. Slowly go. If I hear anything, I'm just gonna book it. Steps like everywhere over here, even some here. But it seemed like they went somewhere that direction. Okay, I'm gonna try not to whisper as much. I think I'm like. Okay. Okay. So now I'm kind of just going off into the fucking wilderness. But honestly, I don't know if I want to risk anything because yes, they did go. 
towards the truck and then veered left, but I'm still hearing things around me. I'd rather be safe than sorry. What is that? Oh my God, what's in that bag? Oh my God, what's in that bag? Oh my God, what's in that fucking bag? What the fuck am I looking at? What the fuck is going on? Is there another bag right there? There's literally another bag right there, I think. Look, footsteps. They went that direction. They came from somewhere over there. So I think I gotta go that way. Gloves right now, my hands are so Family dollar. Oh my god, dude, this bag is so brittle. Look at this. So just, oh my fuck. Oh, this bag is so disgusting. This is disturbing as This is so disturbing. Anything else in here? Oh! His fucking head fell off. His fucking head fell off. Oh, what the hell's in there? Oh my god, there's something in there. This is Buster. Buster. Oh, it's fucking newspaper. Oh, no, I'm not touching that. I'm not touching that. Oh, fuck. I hate it. I, I'm just about to leave all this. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't even, like... I can barely fucking breathe right now, bro. I'm about to pass out. I'm sorry. This is something different. I don't know. Oh, my fucking gosh. What is this, bro? Oh my god, it's eyes. There's like, faces like peeling. Look at that. Oh, my screen's getting blurry. Hold on, guys. Foggy or whatever. Dude, this thing is heavy. Like, heavy, heavy. Oh. I hate everything about this. Does it have like a date on it or something? Like I know sometimes like dolls have like date. What the fuck was that? What is that? Okay, this is disturbing. What the hell is that? Oh my. Oh my god. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What the fuck is going on? Bro. What the fuck? Guys. Oh my god. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Something about this doll is freaking me out. Does this look like that? Girl? I don't fucking know. Honest to God, this is probably the most disturbing thing I've ever come across. Now, honestly, with the whole story that was shared with me, yeah, I fucking get it. This, look at this, peeling at the mouth. I'm also kind of curious what the newspaper said. I'm just going to take a look at it. Hello? Oh! This, oh my God! Oh shit! Where the fuck do I go? Oh, no, 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 no. It's been like 10 minutes since everything happened. I haven't heard anything from Jazz, or I haven't seen him, I guess. So I can't really hear anything from him because I have his phone. Uh, I'm pretty worried right now. After everything we heard, like, you know, I'm trying to tell myself that, you know, it's just someone practicing out here late at night. Uh, but I don't, I don't really know now because he's not back yet. Oh, God forbid, like, a mistake happened. Oh, you guys hear that? Okay. That sounds like 
Footsteps, that could be jazz. Uh, that could be jazz, but it also could not be. So, hang on one sec. Way louder. There, there's someone here. They're getting closer. Holy shit! Hold on. You guys are gonna be able to see this. I think I'm gonna go lights out for a little bit. I'll, I'll see you guys in a sec. I'm re-watching the footage right now and it's genuinely the strangest thing. There are footsteps that you will see in a second approaching the campsite from the top of the hill, right? And you can hear footsteps approaching Ben and the campsite when Ben was recording, but Ben checked in every single direction and no one was there, so unless I'm missing something. If you guys caught something that we may have missed, please let us know down in the comment section below. But genuinely looking back at this, I'm like dumbfounded because I, I don't know. But I got to give credit to Ben because Ben literally laid underneath the truck for a very long time. And it's smart thinking, but this whole situation in, a, in its entirety is crazy. And it only gets weirder from here. I just want to put that out there. So take a look. Okay. I'm out from under the truck. I gave it like five minutes. Jazz is still not back. Okay. Yeah. Dude. Those are the foot. That's how close they got. Oh. It just keeps going. Yeah. They were just walking down the road. It's weird, right? To like walk up to a truck. And and I don't I don't think I don't think they didn't see my light. I tried to cover it in the end, but like I don't think they didn't see it. I think they saw the light, so definitely wasn't jazz. I knew it wasn't jazz. As whoever this was was walking towards the truck, they didn't like shout my name after everything, you know? Like, if it was Jazz, he would have called out. <sighs> Fuck, bro. This is nuts. I'm not keeping waiting here. I can't get into the truck. So earlier towards the beginning of the video, when I was showing you guys our campsite, we heard a scream from the left side of our campsite towards down where that road was. Now, when I was thinking about it, there's the, the trail that way, or the road that way, and then the trail this way. I was going through a lot, obviously, where I was at that time, and when I seen the lights behind me, obviously it wasn't Ben, because Ben would have called out to me. I decided to keep on going and eventually, hopefully, make it back to the road and then just go up to the campsite, right? And that's what I tried to do. However, when I did that, I heard an alarm, my truck alarm. What the f
Oh, wait, is it my, is it my truck? Oh shit, is that not mine? How do I turn it off? What the f Wait, who's that my truck? Who the f is that my truck? Yo! What the f Stay back! Oh, Ben! Oh shit, my bad. It's not shutting off. Wait. I don't want to press. Okay. Not the cell? Press that once. That's all. You scared the f out of me. I seen like two lights coming towards me. I'm sorry. Why did it go off? Oh, I'll try again. I'll try again to tell that. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. Holy mother of shit. I was trying to hide. Yeah, I went all the way around. Why? We hide from what? Why were, I, I don't know if it was the same people, but there was someone creeping around the I hid it under the truck. Oh, shit. They got it on video. Oh, you got it on video? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Dude, I'm telling you, there's some really weird shit going on out here. Brother, I found some very strange shit. Hold on, hold on. I have more of the gunshots, dude. Listen, I laid low for like, had to have been like 10-ish 10 10 minutes. Yeah. 15 minutes. And there's people, I don't know, like, I, I don't know if, what their intentions are. I don't know if they're, but I know they have guns. And I'm, I'm not taking chances. Yeah. So I sat there in complete darkness. I literally laid like underneath this log, basically. And I got them on camera. I got them on camera like. You heard that? 100%. What was that? That's a truck or a car. Something's coming. I don't like that. Something's coming. Okay. Um, brother, I found something really strange from where those people were coming from. There was a doll in like a family dollar bag. I don't know, it was, it was all fucking, the bag was so brittle, I don't know how long it's been out there. I don't know if it came from them, like they left it there or something. The bag was so brittle and I tried like picking up the bag, it just like started ripping so easily. There's a doll in there with a photo of some girl. I was, uh, I really wanted to show you, take a photo, you have my phone, so that's not happening, but. Listen, bro, honestly, like, like real shit, like as mad as some people might get, it might be like best case scenario to pack oh, up yeah. our shit and go. I don't know how close that was, but. That was pretty close. I say a couple hundred gotta, feet or something. Maybe when we get out of here, I can show you the video. But okay, yeah. If anything, uh, let's at least take down the tent. When was the last time something happened here? Cause dude, scary shit. Those people that were walking past, I was looking and I was watching and I was like thinking to myself, do I say something? You know, do I announce, hey, I'm here. So Surely they heard me say hello. You know what I mean? Maybe that's, maybe they shot off. Shots is like a warning one, two, maybe it's like I mean, a- You across crossing anyone's property though. This is like a- No, no, this is open lands, is open right? Land. Right? I think. We could check the Onyx app. Um, yeah. Regardless of the fact, um, they started going towards the truck. That's when I was like, fuck. Because I know I told you to run. I was assuming you probably either tried to get that, into the truck or the tent or whatever. wild because I was at the truck when nothing happened. Like, so they went left. They veered left. They, they were going down the trail we came from. They went left, which would be up that hill they went. Up that hill? That well, hill. assuming because like instead of going this way where we came from, they went upwards, right? Well, the tracks came from down that hill. Wait, no, what? Yeah, what? bro. Okay. Wait, what's blinking red right there? Yeah, it's your, it's your lamp. It's okay. Oh, my lantern? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh. Wait, what? Once I got out. Okay. I saw the trails. The trail. He got oh, that close. Oh my god. Oh shit. Yeah. 
You weren't joking? No. The camera's getting so foggy. And that's where we came from. Realistically, that's where we gotta go. So, you tried to get in here, you said? Yeah, I was trying to. I was thinking hiding in there for a while. Just till you got back. It's not a bad idea, honestly. But, my bad. I didn't know how to shut off the fucking alarm. I kept pressing the lock, unlock button. That's what it was in my little red rocket. Not for this. You have to press the alarm button again. That scared the fuck out of me. Yeah, what was that? Dude, I'm like struggling right now, I'll be honest with you. Um, yo, let's uh pack up the tent. Okay. And then we'll decide what to do after. Um, yeah. All right, um, yo, I'll take down the tent. All right, guys, so I wanna share with you the experience that was shared to me from a subscriber of the channel by the name of Alex. Now, Alex has been to this woods and he's experienced some pretty crazy shit. Uh, the things that are in this message that he sent me are horrifying. I actually don't know how much I'm going to share to YouTube because of YouTube's TOS, uh, so I'll do what I can. Um, it's very disturbing, so I do wanna put a trigger warning out there. Um, if you're not good with this kind of stuff, skip ahead a couple of minutes and get back to the the night where Ben and I were out there in the woods. But uh, Nonetheless, uh, I want to get into this, and I actually spoke to Alex about this. I know earlier a million things are going through my head, and I, I was like, maybe, you know, wrong information was given to us, and that wasn't the case. I don't think anywhere where we were was private property. I just think people were out there either, one, you know, setting off gunshots to scare us, telling us to get out of there. Maybe they were hunters. I don't exactly know. Regardless of the fact, I'm just going to share this story with you. So, here we go. I've lived near the outskirts of blank for the majority of my life. Blank is this vast expanse of dense woods that stretches for miles. It's always been a place of fascination and fear for the people in my city. There's always been rumors of strange occurrences and hauntings from these woods. The strangest things I've heard is that things people have found in here, people's personal belongings, clothes, etc. Rumors of missing people, so people automatically assume that it's connected with the things that people have found. However, I'm not sure. One day, I decided to take a girl on a stroll through the woods. She's one of those thrill seekers and kind of pressured me into it. Nice uh, date. Not something I would probably do. Probably stick with a dinner or movie kind of thing. But uh, yeah, it wasn't so bad initially. We were in a deep personal conversation and almost forgot we were in a terrifying forest. LOL. <laughs> it wasn't until we heard leaves crunching and a branch break behind us that made us stop and turn around quickly. No one was there. Nothing was there. The fact that it came from behind us, the way we came from, we decided to try and push things through the path and get out from the other side. We continued on, but then we heard what sounded like kids laughing and then heard footsteps in the distance. She was freaking out. I was trying to keep my cool because if I started showing that I was scared, then it would make everything far worse. Eventually, the laughter, the voices, the footsteps stopped, and we heard nothing at all. We had to make the decision on whether or not to keep going forward towards the land that we had no idea about or go backwards towards where we came from. On the maps, we seemed so much closer to the exit of the trees and woods if we just kept going straight on. It was getting darker and darker by the minute now, the sun was almost completely down. This next part is disgusting. So trigger warning here. Um, this is one of the many things that was shared with me from this night. We came across a dead pig. It was one of the worst smelling things I've ever encountered in my life. There were bugs, flies everywhere. We shined our lights around to see what was around us and there were old wooden chairs. I counted five of them, but there could have been more. Old dirtied candles were on the ground. Some people were out here doing some sick shit. We continued on further and that's... I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it there. Uh, long story short, they continued finding more deceased animals. They kept hearing things, and eventually they were able to get out from the other side. But by then, damage was done. You know, they were basically traumatized from what they just experienced in the woods and uh, never came back. And they 
didn't have a second date, unfortunately. So, yeah. Brings us to where we are at in present time. So, you know, based on that story, we came out here and within minutes, we experienced a scream deep from within the woods. And not only that, but found and experienced what we did. So, yeah, it's one of those instances where it's a very dark and uh, scary situation. There's a lot more that I can say, but I'll just let the footage speak for itself. If you haven't already, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, here's the remainder of the footage. Um, tent is packed. Hands are, I feel like they're about to fall off mm -hmm. because I forgot my gloves. But uh, yeah, interesting night to say the least. Um, um, you know, it's one thing to leave a place early you know leave the campsite early due to just being scared or whatever this is like an actual safety concern yeah you know so excuse us um however we we've been sitting here and talking about it for a little bit we might try to stay in the truck for the night if anything you know kind of got a good amount of gas in here it lasts us the whole night um truck has basically a generator built into it so we can just charge everything i was bring up the idea of like moving spots a little bit that's also not a bad idea but i really don't want to put up the tent again no not not like that i mean moving the truck honestly elsewhere. that's not a bad idea right why don't you know what ben solid idea here you want to grab the camera yeah i mean like we don't have service like this is the maps right here guys oh yeah it's bad we're we're yeah, so oh, shit creek uh, paddle. Sorry. At least let's go check up because that's where the footsteps came from for you. One you and should, yeah. Yeah, so the footprints start from there. Yeah, keep the camera forward for a bit. All right, POV. Wait, so where the hell would they come? They must have been walking on the tire tracks. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, but I'm looking to see if it like- It looks like a spot where they came out. Yes, from. yes. You look on the, would have been the left, right? Wait, hold on, what's that, what's that pull out right there? There's like a, almost looks kind of like a driveway right here. It does. Is that lead tank? Um, here. I heard something over there. Me too, hold on. Hold on. I got my, I got my flashlight. Clear for eight. Anything? I don't see anything. Okay. Let's keep going. Wait, 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 wait. I just... Something down there. I swear to you. How far? How far are we talking? Pretty far down. Second hill? Huh? Like, does that little hill on the big? So, something down there, I swear to you. It was like... Maybe a, a quick second I saw something flash down there. Is that, is that a reflector down there too? Or is that something... I, I saw the reflector, but there was something next to the reflector. No, that's what I'm saying though. Like, is Was that there when we came in? I don't know, because we came from this way, so we didn't really like, pay attention. Right. I also want to stress that this is a very stupid idea. Like, we know it's a stupid idea. You know? Great. You come in here with a normal car or whatever, you're asking to get stuck and they won't help you. No one, AAA roadside assistance can't come out here to help you. This this is like a, what, a seasonal road they call it? In seasonal so, so they don't maintain this road until like spring. So yeah. realistically, you're stuck in here. Because they don't want to get their car stuck in yes. there. Yes. So they're not going to try it. They will, um... Ah, fuck! Okay, I saw that. What was that? I have no fucking clue. Oh, 
so glad you didn't hit it. No, even hit it. I don't know what the f it was. Right, once again, right next to the reflector. So that means I definitely seen something. What the? Just keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled. Okay, hold on. So it had to have been like right, wait, wait. Those are like steps right there, no? Steps, steps? Step? Yeah, hold on. I don't know. Bro, what the f is that? I mean, probably just some sort of animal maybe that I've seen. Cause like, even looking out here, I don't really see much else, right? I, I, I would think, I don't, I don't know what that was, Jess. I... <sighs> like it, it, they didn't look like a deer. Like to me, I don't know if this is deer prints or not, but like it didn't look like a I, deer. Is there any on that side? Yeah, there are. Really? Yeah. So it did cross. It did cross. Is it a deer? It looks like it might. Maybe. Oh, ah, what the f the f so just hit the fucking car. Okay, okay. Oh, the window shit. Won't oh. roll up the window. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm trying not to fucking. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Hold on. Control, control, control. So just hit the fucking car. So just hit the fucking truck. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. So just hit the fucking that? Okay. I don't even care. I don't think that was a deer now. I'm telling you right now. I, I like I said, I don't know why I, I don't know what that was. Keep it Maybe. facing. Just keep it facing forward just in case. Jesus. Yeah, we came in here deep, guys. Like this, this was a very, very long path to get here. Because we were trying. Did you see that? What did you see, Jeff? It looked like a flash. Almost like something like, almost like a picture. The second time you said that. You saw a flash. Well, it looked like something like, almost like took a picture. Okay, let's go. Let's, why don't we just get out of here then? Yeah. Yeah. Right? This, like, legit? Yeah, because this is like... No, like... I'm trying to keep my cool. I really am. Over. What did you see? I'm not even quite sure where we came from at this point. Does none of this will load? Well, I did earlier when we were here. Okay, um, well... Are you still down to go somewhere new and try camping in the truck, or do you want to maybe just get the hell out of here? Ah... Uh, brother, you feel... I mean, it's up to you. You feel safe here. Fine. I mean... Fuck. I'm going this way. I think we came from... I think. Fuck. I almost feel sick, bro. Like... I must keep my head peeled now, because I keep on... I missed that second thing, I'm gonna... 
Yeah, like just in case. But um, yeah, just keep rolling. People always yell at us for not keeping the camera on road, so we're gonna keep it on road. Bro, I'm sorry, this is. Priority right now is just to get the hell out of here. Jesus, man. Please, please. They're like, fucking anything. Like, yeah, we. I, can you. There's us, but what the. F We're in the middle of nowhere. I don't even know if this is where we came from. That's the problem. Like, where we had to choose left or right, I chose left. Because I thought we went up some hill when we came in here. I don't know though. Now I'm like second guessing myself. I, I don't know if that's the right direction. I I don't remember, dude. The driveway over here. Simon points to a driveway. It says to go right. Is go right where? Down? Maybe there's a driveway. Maybe it's someone's house, maybe? Maybe that explains the gunshots because they're protecting private property, but we've just driven like a mile and a half. Oh, yeah. Two miles? Yeah. There's another one. Oh, uh, maybe then. Wait, right, right there. Oh, shit. Oh, it's gated. It is gated. Uh, it's open, too. And there's... What happened? There's... A trail. I don't. Is that footsteps? Bro, there might Wait. be a trail that run from there. Wait, what do you mean? I don't know if there's footsteps or something else. Hello. Yeah. Uh, no, that's a. Uh, some sort of bike. Okay. We did say we heard a. a vehicle coming earlier, too. Maybe it was like a. I don't know, that's just. That's just I'm just jumping out shadows at this point. I'll just I feel like we've experienced enough here, right? Yeah. All right. This was one of those nights where we just couldn't relax for a minute. It was just one thing after another. We arrived and within minutes we heard a scream from deep within the woods and then, like I said, this happened and that happened and yeah, I mean, we weren't here for a very long time. This is actually one of my shorter videos. You know on this channel I usually upload videos that are about hour and a half, two hours long. Yeah. I will say, though it is shorter, it is one of the most intense and one of the most intense nights of our lives. But the night didn't end for us there. Uh, something else happened outside of the woods, and I'm going to share that with you in a second. I will say, if you do want more camping videos, smash that like button, comment hashtag camping. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and if you have any personal experiences from any forest, woods, or just anything in general, any local folklore, please share with me on any social media or even down in the comment section. And if we do decide to come over, and maybe it'll be featured in one of our next videos. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, before I do leave, I do want to show you what else we experienced. And uh, yeah, uh, just take a look. Yo, I got the camera. Grabbed the pump, yeah. put in my card and everything, was about to fill gas. Look right what here. What is that? Look. Wait, a card? Brother, remember that doll I told you about with the photo? Yeah. Why? Hey, that's a little girl. Yeah. That was right with the doll in that trail. What the fuck? Just, let's just get out of it. Okay. I'll fill gas somewhere else. I just want to get out of this general area. Wait, so you saw that? The picture was at the doll? It was in the doll. And then it... Oh, oh, that's... Oh, oh. What the fuck? Oh.